Hello, just making a quick follow-up video here based on some feedback. It seems that it might make sense to show people how to walk through making their own synth in the Bebo side, especially for people who don't yet have the device or for people like me who synthesis was a secondary thing. I'm a guitarist primarily who in recent years started learning more and more about control voltage and other such things. And products like the, the Digit and Bebo software ultimately lets you explore many things. Today specifically, this is within the Bebo side, and I'm gonna walk through how to make a couple of basic synths. This is more on the subtractive synth side. However, this is more of a starting point just to help others who maybe need this. So let's go from the top here. Input, output. We're just gonna put in first the MIDI note to CV as well as the poly note to CV. Just wanna take a quick look at these two together. As you can see, there are many different features between the two. I'll expand on that more in a second. I just wanna show this the way it is. I'm gonna lay out some of the modules that are helpful. You have options when it comes to envelopes. I'm just gonna use the basic ADSR, but you also have things like the delay attack, hold, the key, sustain, release, that's a tongue twister for some reason right now, but it is the DAHDSR. That's a very cool module to play with, but we'll keep it simple right now. ADSR. And for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use one VCA, which is typical to how you would use in conjunction with the envelope and the gating situation. I personally like to have another VCA as a, as a level control, but that's non-issue. That's also personal preference right there. So that being said, for a mono connection, you can simply go to the macro OSC, select pitch, volt per octave. And in this situation, you can actually send the gate signal directly to the ADSR. The ADSR connected to the VCA is how that gate would control the volume and so forth. I'm just gonna move the macro OSC so you can better see the connections. Macro OSC, you would plug the out to the VCA and now that's just an in out you could put that to uh, out one, out two, anywhere you want, really. And then don't, of course, forget to connect the MIDI to MIDI note to CV. So this poly is not being used right now. And as you can see, this is a very basic subtractive synth on a certain level, but we're missing something. We're actually missing the filters. So go into synthesis weird. I like the diode ladder. You have a few options here. This envelope right now controls volume, which is cool, that's necessary. But we can also do something along the lines of, we can take this VCA, we can actually take that out. And now that I'm looking at it, it's right there. So we just disconnected that. And for argument's sake, you can connect the filter right in the way there. I could still have the ADSR on the envelope if I want, but I could also have the filter be essentially tracked by the pitch, key tracked. So now that filter is going to actually move in relation to the frequency of the note value, which is pretty cool. If you don't want that, and you want it to be instead controlled by the filtering, you can always add in another envelope if you'd like. And what you would do there is, you can disconnect the pitch control to the ladder pass. And you can always put in another ADSR. You definitely have the room here against the CPU and so forth. And a similar idea here. So we could pitch track it with an envelope. Put that to the cutoff CV. And I wanna highlight here in the MIDI note to CV module, 
right here, you can actually control the octave range. So depending on what you're putting in, you can actually change the octave here, regardless of what you're actually playing in. Retrigger, I like to turn that on, especially if I'm doing something that's very rhythmic. Maybe um, it's a sequencer type line that I'm playing out of a Beatstep Pro or a keyboard. I like to use the retrigger. But that being said also, here is where you can control the channels. And if you notice, turning the dials, it kind of moves it a little bit funky, but I'll do that sometimes to get like a, a little bit in the ballpark. Sometimes that's just easier. But as you can see, when you press it, it hard snaps to the exact channel number. And this is very handy if you want to do multiple sequencer lines, like the BeatStep Pro can supply two lines, a KeyStep Pro can supply multiple. So that's where you would do stuff like that. And also just to say aloud, you can do various detunings semitones, descent, things like that. So from here, just to say it aloud, this is a one note mono synth, monophonic to say specifically, and it will get you where you're going. We're just gonna empty this out again. So we're gonna empty the preset. 